the the most dangerous enemies that we all of us face uh, are facing today is ignorance. We we have a long history of talking about how we can all get along, and we also have a long history of not getting along. Ideally, and in terms of fantasizing, that everybody in this great country, everybody in the world, would have a chance to meet and greet somebody of a different background, of a different religion or culture, and move into the relationship with openness. For over a thousand years, the relationship between Islam, Judaism, and Christianity has been marred by conflict, hatred, and ignorance. Three men of faith and their congregations have set out to change that. The faiths are so intertwined that we're not as different as we think we are. If we could focus on our values, we would see that we're all coming from very much the same place. Different faiths can live together in a peaceful way as long as we uh, commit for the dialogue tolerance. The congregations from Central Synagogue, Mosque Malshid al-Hikmah, and Marble Collegiate Church worshiped together and then broke bread together to get to know each other. The more we can find how alike we are, the less reason we're going to have to look at each other with suspicion. And I think to be able to not just worship together, but I think to be able to break bread together, you know, to see each other around the table, that moves the whole thing into a much more human dialogue. Most people, even today, in public education, never would learn anything about the Middle Eastern Islamic countries. They only learn about them when they turn up in a war or with terrorists coming from there, and that is not a good way for people to learn about each other. So programs like this, where you get to learn more of the background and what we have in common, is extremely important. We are really here together at the same table like this. I hope there is maybe another moment like this also. We love each other like that. Musadanai panave lecha, v'yasem lecha shalom. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam wa ilayka ya'ud salam The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. I have great faith in this. Um, I believe we're on a new path, uh, but it means looking at interfaith and multi-faith conversation in a very different way than we traditionally have. Uh, but I think this is a different world than we've had before. So I think we need to, you know, we need to be brave. People basically are people of goodwill. They want good things to happen. They don't want to hate. They don't want to be a, a feared division or difference. I think they want to find ways of getting along. The dialogue should not only be between leaders, more importantly between the people. But our people, due to their ignorance, I think we need to educate them. And the best a way to educate them is experience. So we really experience that uh, coming together, um, chatting, communicating, and loving, and that religions unite, not divide.